Welcome to ProUpCast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit www.crproducers.com. Now for today's headlines. The number of jobs slashed in the private sector throughout July represented the most meager monthly decline in nine months, despite the number of job loss announcements having increased 31 percent. In fact, ADP says private sector employers cut 371,000 jobs in July, the least significant monthly figure since October 2008. Finally, the job loss rate for July is compared to an estimated loss of 350,000 jobs, according to economists surveyed by Briefing.com. In property casualty news, for the week ended July 31st, average 30-year fixed mortgage rates dipped to a three-week low, thus causing the number of U.S. applications for home loans to climb. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, 30-year mortgage rates last week fell 0.19 percentage points to 5.17 percent. This figure represents the lowest rate since a figure of 5.05 percent in the week ended July 10th, according to the MBA. In healthcare news, a recent poll conducted by CNN and the Opinion Research Corporation indicates that 50% of Americans support President Obama's health care proposal and 45% are opposed to the reform. Approximately one-third of Americans thinks the President's health care proposals will help their families, while 44% feel they will benefit other families, and one in five Americans say no one will be helped by the proposal. Finally, according to CNN polling director Keating Holland, quote, Obama's plan is most popular among younger Americans and least popular among senior citizens. A majority of Americans over the age of 50 oppose Obama's plan. A majority of those under 50 support it, unquote. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching ProUpCast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.